All right, we're gonna turn this bad boy on here. Uh, oh my God, that's sweet, isn't it? We turn off the lights, there's like lights on them, like on, on the wheels. Uh -huh. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Wanna try it? Yeah, that's all right. Oh, okay. I'll have to watch. Okay. <laughs> the lights work on it too, or? Yeah, they are. Yeah, see? See that? I see, uh, okay. What about the high beams? Oh no, I think that's as high as it gets. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. But I'm gonna make some, uh, some uh, custom, you know, um, some modifications to it. Hey guys, Alex here, and we are gonna show you this Freaking awesome RC find. It's not really a find since I bought this one off of uh, off the internet And this was the very last one they had it is still brand new. This was only about 40 bucks guys super duper cheap I can't believe no one bought this. This is a, a Dodge Magnum. I believe 2006. Yeah, 2006 Dodge Magnum RT edition and uh, What does it do? It's got some show glow wheels. They I guess they light up but this is one tenth scale, um, 49 megahertz frequency, made by made by Jada Toys, and it's part of their their Dub City uh, edition thing, Majiggy. All right, guys. So yeah, this is completely new, completely uh, still sealed. See the little tape here. Well, I feel really bad about doing this, but I'm gonna cut this bad boy open. Try to think which is the best side to come from. This side. Probably. Let's do it. Dub City, here we come. Man, the tape comes off so easily. I can't believe no one's ever busted this before. Uh, let's go ahead and open this down here, too. Man, I love these 110 scale cars. Especially when it's a Dodge. Let's move the scissors over here. So, that's what it looks like right now. We're gonna pull this bad boy out now. Shoot. Hold on. Man, it's gonna be tough. Maybe I should have went the other way. Too late. The die is cast. Good lord, what the, why is it taking. Why is it so hard? Dub City does not, does not want to go out without a fight here. Alright. Box is huge. All right, here she is. Oh, what a beauty! By the way, I have some very special plans for this. I'm gonna mod the hell out of this. 
Um, but I'm going to save those ideas for a different video. Um, until then, I want to show you what this um, stock product looks like in its, in its stock form. So we're going to take this off of its uh, crap here. So in the back it's tied up, as you can see. We're going to untie this. I'm not sure what I unscrew there. It's probably the uh, remote. I don't know. Let's take off all this tape now. Let's see if this comes off yet. No, it's probably screwed in the bottom. This should come off. Nope. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> this will give you a lot of crap down here. Here's the instructions. Using brute force to take it off. All right. Well, they lost a lot of points in my book for this wrapping system. Let's go take out. Here's a nine volt battery, probably for the remote. This is probably the charger. Yeah, AC, AC, DC, uh, nitro. <laughs> it's not really nitro, but it's what it's called. Charger. This is what is this down here? So this remote. Yeah, this is the remote down here. Yeah, I, I swore, sorry. It should not be this hard to take a freaking car out. Okay, after 11 minutes, well actually I started like four minutes into it, after seven minutes of I'm trying this. I finally got it out. So there's also the remote, which is still somehow stuck inside after I did everything else to get it out. Okay, there is a, look at this, this is cool. There's a little scale car down here. It's the same thing, but it looks like it's, uh, yeah, 64 um, scale. It's another Dodge Magnum. That's gonna be cool. Um, here's, here's the battery that, that goes inside. It's a uh, 9.6V battery. Got to charge it up for probably like four hours, probably. Let's we'll try to get this remote out. I mean, I've assembled Gundams that were less complicated than this. Finally, here's the remote. Okay. Congratulations, Jada. This video is going to be over 30 minutes long now. Thank you. Here's the remote. Um, it's pretty cool. Batteries go in here. The antenna is gonna go in here. I, I don't know where the, the antenna is probably somewhere in there. I just I can probably use this as an antenna. It's dumb enough too. All right. See, I got this car for the body. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna unscrew this body off and put it on a hobby gray chassis. It's gonna fly super fast. Oh, let's go. Let's go measure it now. Okay, let's see. This is 110 scale, remember that. So the wheelbase, what we got for the wheelbase? It's gonna be, hold on. Do you wanna knock the camera over? Looks like it's almost, it's slightly less than 10 and a half inches, slightly less. That's the wheelbase. Let's go measure the width. The width, let's see. I would say the width is roughly, man, what is the width? It's slightly over six and a half inches for the width, slightly. It's hard to tell, but these flares come out. Um, oh, the length of the car. This is a bit easier to measure. I'm glad they didn't put one of those stupid bumpers that protects the car. I'm being very serious though, I hate those bumpers, but I, I just take them off anyways. Um, because it makes them look really unrealistic. Alright, so the length of the car is about 16 and a half inches, roughly. Guys, I have a headache, and I'm, I'm, I'm tired now from opening this. <laughs> that was ridiculous, opening this freaking crap.